Hey, what's up guys? It's Jeremiah with Training Systems. I'm going to show you how to do here is a scapular wall slide. We're going to do this in standing in a seated position. It's going to be a little more challenging because you're not using your legs. It's more of a close kinetic chain exercise, so it will be more challenging on your upper body. Um, we're going to start with a standing one because it's a little less challenging. What we want to do is get your back nice and flat against the wall. That means you shouldn't be able to put anything through there. Okay, so you have to get Go from anterior tilt to posterior tilt and get that back nice and flat. It's all in the hips. Think butt sticking out, butt pressing forward. From here, we've got to get our head against the wall. Chin's nice and tucked. We'll bring our arms up to 90 degrees. Um, now, for some people, this right here will be challenging enough. You might not be able to get your elbows all the way back. This might be your range of motion. That's fine. Just make sure that you're constantly trying to push back against the wall like this. From here, we'll play with the range of motion here. You can go as high as you can without lifting off your arms. And again, when your arms start to lift off, you just want to, again, press back and down. Now, for those who might have some rotator cuff issues, sometimes staying lower is better. Um, never go into a range of motion that's painful. And it's, it'll usually be at an exact point. So we might go up here and be like, ooh, that doesn't feel good. So don't go through that range of motion. Just stay below that and work on pressing where it doesn't hurt. So we don't want to be like, ooh, that hurts, oh, it feels better. Ooh, that hurts, oh, it feels better. No, stay in a range of motion that doesn't ever hurt. We should never be hurting when we do these exercises. 